Okay, let's try one, nine, seven, three. Good. Not that stupid. Let's see what's behind this door. And if this is gonna be one final part or two parts of the final. Depends on how long this goes. Progress report on the resurrection project. Uh, our efforts to bring back the doctor have encountered significant hurdles. The most pressing issue is the severe degradation of grey matter. While our techniques can rebuild his body, the essence of who he was, his uh, intellect, memories, personality, may be irretrievably lost. We are venturing into uncharted territory with outcomes uncertain at best. And that's kind of useless to clone him just for his body. Stand in this night, wait for gas, jump, crouch. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, I can follow orders. Oh, they look pretty dead. Me too. Me too. Looks pretty dead. What the hell? Looks like it's not released yet. Give me your oh, this room ain't released yet message. And here we have critical issues with this terminal. Be funny if we came this far. The ending of the game is not released yet, which makes sense, it's early access, that could happen. Reflecting on the resurrection, I'm forced to confront the hard truth. In our quest to undo death, to bring back the Doctor, we might be unleashing something we don't understand, far more dangerous than the anomalies we're used to. The question is no longer can we, but should we? This project may well define or doom our entire endeavor. Oh no. I'm once again blandless. Oh, wait. Okay. Control panel unlock. Okay, good. Um, do I want to read? Ah, oh, I've been made aware that the fighters from the Ministry in Westminster have entered dark. I know the first instinct will be to escape over ground, but I have reason to believe the Ministry is going to destroy Hanwell. The safest place to be right now is the deepest parts of the facility. Fight if you can, hide if you need to, let the anomalies loose. So they release the anomalies. And those dudes from the ministry. Or are those the scientists? Who knows? Bunch of dead people access anomaly defense research. The recovery process of the doctor has hit yet another snag. His brain is just not responding as expected. The damage is extensive, far beyond our initial estimates. I'm not sure how much of him we can actually save. Am I the doctor? I opened the gas valves and broke the symbiote chamber. Try not to stand directly beneath the vents. The door to the fence resets won't open until the gas is purged from the Symbiote is contained or killed, that should stop them getting to Brodrick resurgence. Or at least show them down enough to awaken him. Slow them down enough. Which means... can we go through those doors? Yes. 
No, maybe I'm gonna go for this one first. The hell? Just that damage me. It's gonna be weird. Damn it. Oh, that kind of worked. The hell was that? Throw another one. Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> that was brutal. Okay, so I need to crouch under the vase. I believe. Uh, using the same technology as I'll pay. City runner, so we designed these mini versions. They are used for mainly for military field applications. Ruth Natalie has requested six of these. She believes they are the answer to project. Blah, 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 blah. So, um, can I just close that like that? Seemingly can. I need to run in there. Okay. Press E on those. That looks warm. I wish there would be some ammo here. Oh, lighter. Almost as good. The new solid state power saw has been completed, designed to power an entire city for up to 500 years. That sounds good. The cell employs a solid electrolyte, which significantly enhances safety by eliminating flammable components. Its high energy density takes an extended lifespan and ensures a continuous and reliable power supply, making it suitable for urban infrastructure. The cell's advanced technology also offers versatility for various high demanding applications. Further research and development will focus on optimizing integration and efficiency, aiming to solidify this power cell as a cornerstone of future energy solutions for long-term urban sustainability. What's the negative of this thing? I gotta be negative. It'd be so cool if they would drop a new weapon here, a carbine. Scares the hell out of me because it's so random. It feels like you're getting punched. It scares. And this as well. Using the same solid electrode from the PE power cell development, we managed to synthesize a new kind of charged alloy. Its instability gives it the most useful feature it can hold a super high voltage charge. Discharging when coming into contact with organic material, that's the bomb we have, can be weaponized to the unique characteristic of discharge. As long as the user maintains contact with the alloy, discharge will pass right through them into the ground. The same discharge will cause catastrophic damage to all other soft tissue within the range. Samples have been sent to anomaly defense for further development. We have grenades like that, that's a trip shock thing. Oh, he's screaming. 
There should be no one left alive in here besides me. Okay, we need to do something in here. I don't quite remember what it is. <laughs> Those things creep the hell out of me. Oh, what did that say? Try not to... Oh, the wall defense won't open until the gas is purged and the symbiote is contained or killed. So we kill those things. Hopefully with a Molotov. Oh, I fear those things. Let's try it. with it otherwise. I'm not gonna go in in there and smash it with my bed. No, not the top it is. I if it's even hitting me. Oh, disgusting creatures. Let me tell you. I got a little bit of ammo. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit of ammo. Not exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's too much rate and uh get the mouse just zoomed out. Uh, and that's too bright. Let's see if that's all. I don't need it. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, the knob. We're in. Looks lovely in here. Okay, another Molotov for you. I didn't craft enough Molotovs, I just realized. Trip shock, oh, that's not enough. It's time to give me ammo, okay? It's time to give me ammo. Constant update he had released today. We get more ammo capacities and come through here. After encountering a new type of witch, that was observed that she seemed to have some influence on the more common types. We observed that she would emit a harsh sound that changes slightly ever often so in turn the following witches would alter their behavior. We've been synthesizing this frequency and have observed promising results. We have so far managed to inhibit her ability to teleport. Oh cool. Further research may lead to the control and ultimate weaponization of this particular type of anomaly. Do not deactivate the sound while the class is unsheeted. Remember, if she can see a point in space, she can move there. I don't know what it is, sir. I don't have the ammo for that. What's that? Do that instead. That's gonna be a test subject getting zapped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, love it. Love it. Ah, using the charged yellow we received from materials our first irritation of weaponizing it comes in form of this hammer. It's been fabricated from the charged yellow and will hold its charge for years at a time. As the material team reported so long as it remains in our hands, we will not be harmed. The same cannot be said for anybody or anything else nearby. We have two prototypes, this one 
we are using for testing the and another which sits with the doctor and research in chamber there's a war coming and we will be prepared it is after all the way of handball maybe i can use that hammer is that a mannequin they're giving me so many med kits it's not a thing i have too much of right now It'd be cool if i could use that hammer no, damn it Keep fighting now. Come on, trump at me. Last her with a shotgun. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. no okay. Mm. Ah. Oh, dangerous stuff. All around. Okay, focus. Ammo, please. Come on. He just looked at me. Almost like that, I'm that dude good looking. Yes, the mother load. No, that's okay. Oh, okay. We have an inventory full. The only thing we don't have is grenades. So I might need to marry if another one of those spiky things comes. Those are mannequins. Sure. not those are those creepy witches my caress <laughs> oh. don't come alive please I knew it Do two parts. The final. Oh no! Someone is gonna come alive. Examining the doctor's cloned tissue samples reveals something disturbing. The anomaly's influence has permeated far deeper than his physical form. It's as if his very DNA has been rewritten. Resurrection might bring back a body, but what kind of mind will inhabit it?
funny. Seriously, that was dead. the arc we have been betrayed by our government to send the best to kill us and destroy our great city but our realized research has the doctor lives again more powerful than ever the bullets are useless against the doctor so long as his shield remains intact the shield generators must be protected at any cost of there is a final boss he is alive but limited i'm sure he will deal with the invaders quickly but he will need to retire soon after for those to those who are left Finish my work if you're reading this, I'm surely dead. But so are they. No, not yet. A six meeting, log. The project's moral implications are now at the forefront. Are we truly restoring the Doctor, or are we creating something... new? Something potentially uncontrollable? This isn't just a scientific challenge. It's a philosophical quagmire. Are you ready? I'm all ready. Let's see how far we're into it. 21, okay. I'm not ready. I just don't feel good with this. It's a bad feeling going into a fight like that. Or rather, the direct as a final boss. Besides, the doctor. Seems like an uncertainty. No, oh, yeah, here we are. Seems like you had some fun in here. A lot of sledgehammers. Maybe they want me to melee him. A lot of dead bodies. They don't look very human. They don't look very human to me. What's that? Okay, yeah, those are power cells. I'm gonna put them in those shafts. Why the hell do we wake that thing up? Why the hell do we wake him up? I don't know. It sounds like I need to get rid of generators, but all I see is I'm fueling up generators. Let's see. Let's look around. So I'm not prepared. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get my ass kicked. For sure. Feel it. I wouldn't wake this dude up. That seems like a stupid idea. I don't have enough ammo. I don't have enough explosives. I'm just underprepared. Um, where's the missing piece? Yeah. Okay. Get ready. Prepare yourselves mentally. You hear the new death sound. More silent this time around, I've heard. Can we talk to him? Does he have a weapon in his hand? He does. Defeat the director. You, you came all this way to bring me.
About. Oh, I need to kill those generators. We both know how this ends, so pass yourself. Okay, that's the ammo. I don't think I'm allowed to fight that dude. Just keep the distance. So I don't have too much more ammo in that thing. Save me shotgun. I wanna throw something at him. I have one trip bomb. Do the beats. Give him back what he is doing to me. What a light show. Run. No, damn it. Not like that. It's too soon. Anyways. Do it. I have killed me. Far more poorly than you. Oh. Damn it. little explosives now. Boom. Why not throw in all the map kits? Do I have ammo in this? I should keep that. Especially I need to stay away when he does that. Going for strike now. Got one. Just don't have four generators. That me two were enough. weapon here. Mine looks a little bit bloody. Okay. Drop the chains off. Not for the backs off when he does his old. It gives me safe distance. About to fight otherwise. Oh, run. Generators. It's gonna be four generators. It's gonna take forever. Yeah. No. The shields are mere shirts. You are no match for me with or without them. They will be done. It's no question if I have the patience to fight him. Oh. It's 
Fingers crossed, Trinia. It's pretty easy. This is the final phase that's gonna be disgusting. Gonna waste my ammo too soon. Run! I'm just gonna one job me. Yeah. One of those smashes. Just the last generator anyways. It's good wanna keep him in this corner. No, that block. Definitely takes forever. Setting was the replace to see this sledgehammer. God, forever. Oh, yep, he got one in. Got me. God, I wish I had more to throw. I've been very wise with that. Oh no. Place. Oh. Place it with his. Say this new one. Save. Oh, blade save. You gotta try a new trick. <laughs> nope, he's not gonna draw anything. Give me that. Oh yeah, the doctor slash hammer. creeps of that oh yeah that's what we came here for that's a cool as a reward <laughs> that's the coolest final weapon the highest level let me through there oh yeah let me kill stuff with it <laughs> ah you understand me game that's how you do it if the coolest powerful weapon then you give us enemies to kill. Which way? The hell is in here? Let's go here first. The hell is that? Oh, a clone. Gotta be. Can I release it? Our work is coming along beautiful as you have instructed we continued and accelerated the doctor's work we have just moved that thing into storage that is that 607th clone we will hit our target of 100 within the next few weeks 1000 project resurgence is also showing promise and signs of progress we believe we will soon be able to awaken the doctor permanently We've also sabotaged all E-series clones, as you know, we could no longer deny the 
director of Westminster's request of his own clones without rousing suspicion. We have infected all of the director's clones with an inaccurable sickness. All but one has died. The last E7 well on its way despite its unusual resilience. I'm sure it will succumb within days. I'm the director's clone that survived. Right? No cryogenic storage. I cannot. Good. Let's go there. Final is very cool. Better than I expected after the director thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Give him the island vibes. And I even see those. A little bit of stuttering here. I can't sprint. Ah, and there the credits. Nisana Seatels. It's an actual name. She loves Kudrum. Walk was recorded and mixed by Christopher Holmes. That's the Seat House team, if I've ever seen one. Yes, yeah, small, small development team. No, I just need to get back into the city. Destroy things with the hammer, please. Please. Tell me I can go back into the city. But the hammer. Mm. Hell yeah. Good job, team. Mm. Already looking bloody. Maybe it won't last long. Safe house. <laughs> ah. I believe one is up here. Somewhere. Ah, where? There. Come here, bad boy. Yeah, that thing's so apart. Oh, love it though. Let's run around a little bit. I have here the side objective. Oh, that's the safe house. So I guess we're done and I'm gonna wait till the game is finished with new locations. Cover more. Starting with that bunker, I guess then. Which is called the Bishop of London Bunker. Also that village here. That I can't quite go into. Definitely will recommend this game when it's done. The updates were very glitchy. Nah, I mean the early access first week. A lot of bugs, a lot of glitches. Right now it seems to be redeemed. That cool as hammer. That hopefully will last a long time. Don't you dare have it not lasting long. Okay. Yeah. The early access let's play for I know. We're done here. So it was two parts after all. But cool. Cool, cool stuff here. Mm -hmm. No regrets that I played this instead of Star Wars Outlaws. Didn't see too much interesting gameplay in that. 